Hello, welcome to 007 Legends. This is going to be a sort of a let's play series and also marks the first time that this channel Cointos Gaming is doing a let's play of a recently released game. Yes, this game 007 Legends was uh, released on in Tuesday in the States, um, Friday which at the time of recording was yesterday in the United Kingdom and Europe and will be released I think 30th of October in Australia so which I think actually is a bit unfair considering that Bond originated in the UK but I'm not going to argue about it it's it's life I've got the game now and we're going to play some single player and I've reset this because I played about 20 minutes of it yesterday because I haven't played a Bond game in years. Let's try and get the feel of it, but I don't know if it's reset, so I'm gonna Yeah. I'm just gonna just gonna do this. Jesus Christ, I don't know this. Yeah, oh modern or classic. I think I'll go with classic, gives me something to do. Set difficulty. Yep, new game, here we go, figured out. New game. Yes. Let's go classic. Gives me a bit of feel. Agent oh dear. Right, well I just play that. I have played a bomb game before, but it was Nightfire. That was the last game I have played, and I played about five minutes of From Russia with Love wasn't very good. Although I will try and give it a try, uh, a replay sometime. I'm ahead of the train, Mum. What are my orders? Eliminate Patrice. He must not get away. I'm in position, Mum. Lining up a shot. Do you have the shot? Negative. I do not have a clear shot. They're heading towards another tunnel. Take the bloody shot. That there was a Phoenix lighter. Percy Galore. I expect you to die. Uh, that was Goldfinger. Um, that was a clip from Skyfall. There, I'm not sure that last bit is going to be included in the film. Obviously not. But there we go. Bit of a spoiler for you there. Sorry if I've ruined it. And here's James Bond waking up. Presumably in the past. It's like it's like when they say your life has flashed before your eyes when you die. That's what I'm assuming has happened here. And he's, his life is flashing before him. Presumably meaning that actually all the other missions would have flashed before his eyes. Meaning this opens up the prospect of possible DLCs to be released of all the other missions or you know because it could work like that I'm not meant to be picking up this phone so yes the only other game I played was from Russia with Love and yeah it was quite good and I've only recently again become a hardcore James Bond fan and I heard this game was coming out so I thought yeah let's buy it let's have it a play let's let's have this cutscene Bond here. Morning, 007. I need an update. Did you learn anything from Goldfinger's assistant? The girl is dead. What? He must have gotten wind of our investigation. The Treasurer is convinced Goldfinger is behind the rising gold prices. I want you on the next flight to his headquarters in Switzerland. I'm on my way.
Right, here we go. Let's start the mission. The game. I have heard mixed thoughts about this game, but I'm just going to go in and play it for my own opinion. So, yeah, that's what's going to happen with me. Wow, six minutes into this video, and I'm still currently waiting to actually get on and do something. Which is, I'll be, I'll be honest with you, a bit of an annoyance, and these loading screens are taking a rather long time. But I think I can live with that. So, fantastic. Tanner to Bond. We need proof Goldfinger is smuggling gold out of the UK. You need to gather the evidence we can use to arrest him and get out. Stay undercover. Right. So there we go. Pretty sure I don't remember a smartphone in the 1964 film Goldfinger, but uh, I'm going with it. Don't remember that either, but it's, uh, it's a nice action scene. Jeez. Right, I forgot I need to find armour now, don't I? So I need to go around all the sides and shit and try and. Uh, because when I was playing it yesterday, I was playing it in the other mode where my health regenerated. But this is a bit more of a challenge for me, and I don't actually know where any of the shit is. It's just giving me the instructions to the very. the controls that are very similar to that Activision FPS game that everyone likes. I'm not going to mention it, I don't want to. Let's go in here. I'm hoping it's going to be like it was a night fire and I just end up walking somewhere and it's going to be like just it's just going to pick up around me and we're like, oh I've just had some other shit yeah. fucking I'm stuck on the map now it's a pain in the ass there we go that's what I wanted to do Enemies, I'll get some armor. Yeah, that sounds good. That does. That's a, that's a prospect I can live with. Yes, picked up some. That worked. That worked. Shit. Oh, it's good to see these enemies are like they are in any Bond game. Silly. There we go, much easier. Fuck, oh shit, oh shit, shit. I'm running out of, uh, sorry about my language. This is a very high, this is a very tense situation I'm in right now. I should find some armor to pick up. Why I why am I not picking up any it's annoying that is. Just, just go around with dead bodies trying to Right, well I I clearly don't know where any of this um stuff is. What's this? Ooh, I care for this seven I'll um I'll keep this for the moment. If I remember later on, I can pick some more up. Stuck here. Right, yes. Right, well, I tried looking for armor. If I die really early on, I apologize. Not much that can be done. Oh, oh I picked some up. That is good. That is very good. I don't know what the two bars mean, I'm assuming uh, what's this? There was some uh, intel there yesterday, by the way. There was some intel there, uh, in this spot here, for anyone who's playing this first time. We 
which I picked up yesterday, so I don't need to pick it up again. I did only play about 20 minutes of this, so it's not like I've played the whole game. I do want this to be much as surprise as it is. Just wanted to get the first bit out of the way, so it can be sort of not me walking around not understanding what I've been doing, because I haven't played a James Bond game in a few years, as I said, so I just wanted to get a bit closer of it. Oh god, these aren't going to be enemies that keep respawning until I get to the point, are they? Because that's gay, if that is the case. I have heard some reviews that it, that is the case. Especially in some scenes. Die, you bastard! Ooh, I heard noise! on here can I go on here I can't I can't no just don't don't even want Bosco that's a stupid idea oh look there he is there's the guard stupid um, AI there running around the complete different direction to which I'm in classic classic James Bond game it's good to see that that hasn't changed since 2004 it's probably because it's designed by the same people actually if I remember rightly Eurocom did design Nightfire, or at least on one of the platforms they did anyway, so that's uh. Oh, I'm gonna get that ammo as well. I'm to get a new gun now. Shit, shit. This is. Why is he not dying? Fucking die. Well, I haven't actually picked up anything beneficial there. So I have over here. It's stuck. Oh well. Bond, be watchful for any items of interest that may provide valuable intelligence to support your current mission. Ah. No, it's a bit of a weird place to put a vending machine. I'm sort of hoping there'd be uh, something else there, like armor, perhaps. But no. Oh look, he says, he gives me an instruction, find a way yourself of putting the fire out. And I go in here, I'm not even given a chance to find what I'm meant to be doing. I'm told immediately, shoot there. 